Uh, let's see, can we lean it over more today? Whoa, 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 whoa! I am not an editor, I am a cut and splice jockey, my friends. Hey, hey, welcome back to the channel. Hey, John's not an editor, wait. Everybody's always telling me how good I do on my editing. And by everybody, I mean the same five people that enjoy my editing style. <laughs> oh, goodness, goodness gracious, it is a great time to be alive. Ooh, everything's brisking up in the morning. It's great. I don't sweat my butt off for an hour after I ride. It's a wonderful thing. But, but what do I mean when I say I'm not an editor? I'm a cut and splice jockey. I mean, let's break that down. An editor is somebody who can take recorded video footage, in my eyes anyway, this is my opinion. I don't have the Webster's Dictionary definition of editor, but we're going off the, off the cuff here, yay. As usual, John is unscripted and you never know what he's gonna say. Ha ha! But seriously, an editor is somebody who takes video footage, recorded video footage, and cuts and arranges it and adds the other things you need to make a finished video product. Now, whether that's something that was shot on a potato and is for potatoes, or if it's something cinematic, or if it's something where somebody wants to show you their ride on their motorcycle going to work. Yep, I'll let that simmer for a minute while I get some coffee. Ah, coffee, 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 coffee. The best part of waking up is road reality in your cup. Wait a minute, that sounds wrong. <laughs> See, I told you, you'd never know what I'm gonna say. But, you know, people call me an editor and I, I kind of am. I am not a colorist. That's what they call the people that take raw camera footage and log camera footage and basically see raw is a kind of uh recording thing where a camera will record in raw so it's like the base data without any kind of interpolation from what the sensor saw a colorist will take that and make it look pretty yep that's what a colorist does somebody like dewey rides now i have said in the past that I use all GoPro auto settings. But for today's video at Dewey's behest, I have switched things up. Yesterday I tried on my own and it was like, eh, it's okay, it's not great. And I'm not even gonna go into those details. What I will tell you is that my EV comp, which is the exposure value comp, I think it's exposure value, it's exposure. It is at minus 0.5. Now here's the problem. Here's why this is important. When I ride, especially in this time of year, the colors are all wonky because I'm riding into the sun quite a bit. And when I'm riding into the sun, the GoPro on GoPro color or full vibrancy or whatever, it doesn't look good. The contrast is too high. So the shadows are dark, 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 and the brights are blown out. And it just doesn't, it doesn't look good, like I said. So what we have to do is figure out an alternate way of doing things. Now I'm a fan of repeatability and consistency, and I don't have time to stop and change settings while I record. And while it may be good enough for YouTube to just let everything be in auto, and, cause you know, it's not my job to do YouTube videos. I also don't want it to look the same way it does because I think you lose something in translation. And I also don't have like 15 hours per video to do color correction. Go! Thank you. So because I don't have all the color correction time, I kind of have to come up with my jury rig system of adjustment clips and this and that. And I'm not real good in the color page of DaVinci Resolve. And if you have DaVinci Resolve, Adobe Premiere Pro, something like that, you have a color page, I guarantee you. And in that color page, you have a way to change what color values are what. So you can change the saturation. You can change a great number of things. Don't go too big. Small moves, Ellie, small moves. That's movie reference. Anybody gets it, drop it in the comments below. So in my quest for better color for my videos, because I'm always trying to put out the best video I can, I have these adjustment clips and I change the composition percentage and all that other stuff. 
and it, it sort of works. It sort of works, but I want something better. So for today's video, hey, what's up, buddy? So for today's video, we have the EV comp at minus 0.5, like I said, but I've changed the auto white balance to native. So the white balance, it was on auto, now it's on native. And other than that, it's 2.7K 60, and this one is 2.7K 30 for the frame rate, uh, resolution rather, and the frame rate. So a couple of, couple of minor tweaks. Oh, and the one I forgot is that camera is in GoPro is, and the one thing I forgot is that camera is in flat and this camera is in natural. So basically I'm trying to grow up. I like adult entertainment, right? <laughs> no, that's wrong video, John, wrong, wrong video. This isn't OnlyFans, but what I'm really looking for is a little bit less saturation and a little bit better color detail, which I think I can get by using these settings and a LUT, which is a lookup table that Mr. Dewey Rides sent me. He got a free download somewhere. That guy spends so much time color grading his videos. It's bonkers, all right? The guy is a, a veritable genius when it comes to colors. We, we hopped on a Google Meetup last night. Google Meetup, I don't know, whatever it's called, video chat thing on our computer. And we went for about an hour. We were color grading his footage and, and then we color graded some of mine. And the results were pretty good, uh, except I didn't have the same exact settings that this LUT called for. Because a LUT tries to change like the blue in the sky to a slightly different blue. So it says the RGB value of that is 17, we need 18. So it's just a slight change usually sometimes it's a higher change than that and it does some other stuff LUTs are fun they can really make your video footage look wonky or great and i have had pretty good success with using a teal orange LUT on my sped up ride footage i rather like the way that it looks but it's it's a little too much sometimes so what i'm trying to do is just knock that down a little bit and so today i'm riding and obviously I don't have the same jacket. I, well, you don't know, because you don't know when my videos are recorded or published. Anyway, yesterday I was wearing my Joe Rocket jacket. Today I'm wearing my Harley hoodie. Yes, the Bond Body Armor AirTech shirt is going in stealth mode. Quick side note about that. I had a funny one at work. Everybody knows, everybody at my work knows I ride, okay? But they all, they know I'm riding because I'm wearing the jacket, and, you know, I'm wearing my boots. Well, I ran into a coworker last week who, he was like, oh, why didn't you bring your bike today, John? It's a beautiful day out. And I said, I did. And I unzipped my, my hoodie here. And I was like, got the got the armor in stealth mode, baby. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> so that, that thing, the bond armor, ah, I love it. So I will reiterate for anybody still watching in the, what, eight minute mark? Hey, not bad, almost 10 minutes. I will reiterate, and I've said this in past videos, if you think I'm doing a good job of editing and you wanna see how I do my editing, if there's anything about my editing that you have questions of, leave them in the video comments below. Leave them, leave them there, send me an email, john.roadreality at gmail.com. And I'll be happy to try to help you out or I can do like a live stream and show some of my editing techniques. Um, I try to do videos when I come up with a new editing technique or have a particularly complex timeline that I'm proud of. Uh, let's see, can we lean it over more today? Whoa, 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 whoa! So, let's talk about that for a second. I know there was a, I'm pretty sure anyway, there was a dotted paint line and I didn't want, and I was leaned over already. I didn't want to give it too much throttle and I didn't want to give it too much break. And I couldn't figure out where the horn was. Holy crap, she wasn't stopping. My gosh. Head on a swivel, people, head on a swivel. Especially if you're a cager. Pay attention. Put your phone down. Arr. All right, back to, back to this. So if you do have any questions, just let me know. I'm happy to help. I'm always happy to help. I don't always have time to help, but I am happy to help. And so, since we are ending the video soon, 
I would like your comments below. What do you think of the look on this video? Because I will have already color graded it by the time it was put online. And if you think that uh, what I'm doing is a lot of work for very little payoff, then uh, also let me know in the comments below. <laughs> oh, goodness. Hey, thanks again for watching. I do appreciate it. I hope you're having a wonderful day. What the, you know what? You people just piss me off. Not you, the drivers. So thank you again for watching and have a great day. And yeah, take it easy. Keep your head on a swivel. I will see you guys in the next video. This time I'm gonna leave my DaVinci Resolve playlist here because this might get some traction with the Resolve folks. So, yeah. whew, I need a breather. That's that kind of scary, man. That was, uh, that Honda was just like, their grill and their, their front emblem looked like it was gonna take me out. Oh, anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.